Welcome to Six Sigma Mania. Fishbone Diagram, Cause Effect Diagram or Ishikawa Diagram. There are three names of one simple tool. Simple, but very powerful. Fishbone Diagram is a scheme, that by its structure reminds a fish, and its bones. There is an addressed problem written into the fish head. This problem is an effect, caused by current mall functioning investigated process. That is why it is called cause, effect diagram. Japanese professor Kaoru Ishikawa was an inventor of this tool, that is why this tool is also named after him. There are six elements of the fish body. Man, method, machine, material, environment, and measurement. These elements can help describing areas that are causing, or influencing malfunctioning effect. Fishbone diagrams strongly support brainstorming, and discussions about a problem, our effect. Usually is used during project analysis phase, but not limited for that. Project team came to the point, that they understood, and are unified on the project goal and scope. Team have described current mall functioning process in the measure project phase. Now they are at potential root cause evaluation. Follow these steps for successful tool usage. Assemble team. Four to eight people will be good team. To identify problem root cause it is crucial to have right team members. Start with members you know, they are important. Ask them if they think to have somebody else in the team. Make sure everyone understands problem prior brainstorming. Write your problem into effect part of fishbone. Brainstorm problem potential reasons. Challenge each team member to write at least three reasons that problem occurs on each fishbone section. Give team 5 to 10 minutes to write their ideas on stickers. Collect ideas one by one. Read them loud. Collect similar ideas together. Attach ideas to the fishbone element. It is not so important where idea is attached on fishbone. But to have different point of views ideas is very important. Discuss each idea in more details. Let team members to explain why each reason is influencing the problem. Identify priorities. The most frequent idea can be the one with larger influence. Rewrite all ideas into the electronic table. All potential causes are identified. First meeting is over. Call another session with the same team. Do the five why analysis or why because analysis on each cause. This will bring team to the real root cause of the problem. Start this next step with top identified priorities. Identify counter measurements to each problem cause. Implement countermeasures. Evaluate it after some time period. After like two weeks or one month. Fishbone example. There is a problem with vibrations on very precisely grinded surface. But this vibration does not occur every time part is grinded. It is causing a lot of troubles and reworks. There are also customer complaints. That is not a good affect of this process. Isn't it? First what team did, is develop robust method to identify vibrations to stop customer complaints. Then team was assembled to find problem root cause. Production supervisor, process engineer, maintenance guy, technologist, and machinist met next to grinding machine. They brainstormed, and discussed potential causes of vibration problem. Green Belt lead this activity and made remarks on clipboard. And this is result of the brainstorming. There are 10 potential root causes. Team described, what would be reaction on each cause. Task owners also had their priorities to work on. So they knew what to focus on. It took some time, to collect data, or check different points. Finally, maintenance discovered defective pressure valve and hydraulic system. After valve exchange, problem disappeared. There was regular hydraulic system check set up on TPM. Take a look under the video, where you find a link to my blog. You can download fish bone template for free. Use it, share it. If you find this video helpful, give us a like. Do not hesitate to post your comments, questions, or themes you are interested in to see on this channel. Have a great day.